Well, thank you for my, thank you very much for allowing me to be here today, and it's uh, my pleasure to be here in this very admirable organization and, and what you aim to do and what you've already accomplished. I'd also like to thank Joe Ramirez and Jaime who came and met with me and were extraordinarily convincing and um, basically talked me into doing this. I'm not quite sure what I'm getting myself into, but I, I, I believe it's a good thing. But I do want to thank you for meeting with me and welcoming me into this, this community and uh, this organization. I wanted to, before I go into the presentation that I brought today about education as a whole, I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about myself, um, who I am, what, I, what I've done professionally and personally, and how it is that I've ended up being the Deputy Superintendent of Humble Independent School District. And first of all, my family and I have lived here in the Kingwood, Emble Kingwood area, specifically Kingwood, for 18 years. Um, my husband, Tom, who's sitting in the back over here, who's just been my greatest support that one could ever ask in a, in a marriage and in life. He's my greatest, my greatest support and um, always there to challenge me in lots of different ways. Uh, he's in oil and gas, and so we've had the opportunity to move around a little bit, but we've been in Kingwood for about 18 years. We lived here primarily um, so that, because Humble ISD was a good school district. We knew it, we wanted to be here, we had our choice of where to live. And in addition to that, um, we're both born and raised in El Paso, Texas, and so we're from the desert, and we loved the trees. We loved the trees, the livable forest, we just loved that, so this is where we wanted to be. So that said, um, we moved here 18 years ago, and I had had the opportunity to work on my doctoral degree at the University of Houston while our children were young. We have two daughters, Laura and Sibley. Laura graduated from the University of Texas with a degree in communication. And then we have our youngest daughter, Sibley, who is still at the University of Texas in Austin. She's a junior there and she'll be graduating next year. And she's getting a degree in psychology. But we had the opportunity to stay here while they were growing up and, and we never regret that. We, re we never regretted that we stayed here, that we're a part of the Humble ISD and a part of the Kingwood community. When we first moved here, like I said, I had the opportunity to stay home, be a mom, and uh, work on my doctoral degree at the University of Houston. Once I finished, I moved into the, the, El the Humble ISD school system, and my first entry position was as the coordinator for the gifted and talented and the pre-kindergarten programs. So I did that for two years. About two years later, then I was promoted to the assistant director of reading instruction for all of the district. So basically I worked in the academic department for about four years and at the end of those four years, I interviewed for and I was selected as the principal of Quest High School. And Quest High School is our small magnet school of choice in the district and I'll talk a little bit about that in a little while. But so I was the principal of Quest High School for four years. About that time, Dr. Sconzo, who I think many of you know, who is our superintendent in, in Humble, he came into our district and I had the opportunity, I was working on my superintendent certificate at the time, and I had the opportunity to work with him in a superintendent's internship. So I got to know him, he got to know me. So I had been in Quest for four years and at the end of four years, he had been here a year and he asked me to be a part of his cabinet. So that's when he appointed me assistant superintendent. And it was at that time that we had the opportunity to reorganize the district a little bit. And what we did is we reorganized the district into vertical teams so that we could personalize learning for elementary, middle, and high schools by feeder patterns so that we could understand the patterns and trends that exist in the schools that feed up into the high school. So I was the assistant superintendent for the Umble High School vertical team. And um, after I did that for four years, I seem to be on this four-year track. After I did that for four years, we had an opportunity to reorganize again. We had some retirements. We had some resignations. And that's when Dr. Sconzo appointed me his deputy superintendent for the school district. I've been in this position for two years. This is the end of my second year here. So that's my professional career. That's how it is that I've been in Humble ISD and what I've done and, and, that kind, and the kind of work that I have done. But personally, I just wanted to share a little bit about who I am and personally where, where I'm from. Like I said earlier, I was born and raised in El Paso, Texas, and my mother is of Mexican heritage and my father is of German heritage. 
but I had the advantage of growing up in a family that was um, very, very close-knit, very tight. Both our nuclear family and our extended family was very supportive. And more than anything, the family as a whole valued education more than anything else. During my formative years, I remember my, 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 my mother was in a family with five children. She had four brothers, and then she was the only daughter. But during my formative years as I was growing up, my four uncles, her four brothers, were always in school. From the very beginning, all I can remember is that they were either in high school, they were in college, they were obtaining master's degrees. But what had happened was, it was a typical time when, um, in, in Hispanic families at the time, and in El Paso, more concentration was placed on the males in the family to secure education. <coughs> and basically, females, my mother, was to get married and have children. So we followed in suit, and everybody became uh, very much involved in education for my uncles. And basically, my whole world was about education. I was a part of my uncles going into high school. I was a part of my uncles going into college. I was a part of my uncles achieving their master's degrees. And I was a part of my uncles, all four of them, going into doctoral programs in the bioengineering fields, the physics, chemistry, all of those fields, and ultimately achieving their doctoral degrees. So it was just the expectation for our family that you were in education, you went through education, you went through, you got advanced degrees, and then you became a part of the educational system to give back to the community, if you will, what it was you had gained during your educational experience. So that's what shaped me. And, and there were two major components during those formative years. One is that the value that edu of education that my family placed. It, we just, we value education more than just about anything other than family, of course. And then secondly, there was a support system along the way for my uncles. Not that we were poverty, not that we were poverty stricken, but we weren't affluent by any means. And it was in the school system, specifically in the high school systems. And it was, at the time, it was a relatively, my uncles went to a relatively affluent high school, although my family itself wasn't affluent. But there were structures in those schools that recognized um, recognize students that, that didn't have the same advantages and the same opportunities as the others. There were teacher advocates in these schools, and they recognized the brilliance of my uncles. They recognized their gifts, and they helped them, and they supported them, and they helped them get into college. They helped them fill out the applications forms. They helped them get in the scholarships. And as a result, they, they went to very prestigious universities, Ohio State, UCLA, Berkeley. But again, it was because my family placed such a value on education, and there was a support system in the school system that they attended. So those were very significant points in my formative years that, quite honestly, have been my passion, have been my mission, and have been my vision as I've worked through in education for the past 25 years. So that said, what I would like to do tonight, and I do have a handout for everyone, um, but what, what I would like to do before I pass it out is I, I really want to talk about education from four tiers. I'd really like to talk about some national trends in education. I'd like to talk about some state trends here in the state of Texas. And then I would like to come down into the Humble ISD level and say, okay, if these are the trends, if this is what's happening nationally in the state of Texas as it relates to education, then what is Humble ISD 